What's up, YouTubers? Today, we're going to talk about... Tell me you didn't get another knife. Be right back. Okay, so we're going to continue on talking about the... Uh, this is the Spyderco Rock Lobster, designed by Jens Anso. Many people may know him as one of the co-founders of uh, Giant Mouse, which is actually a California-based company, but um, Jens Anso... And yes, Bravoxnays are the principal designers and actually manage the production process and everything on that. This is not going to be a full review. Just got the uh, Rock Lobster in. I'm going to do some first impressions on this one. Um, in terms of like a knife from Spyderco that I kind of thought about, um, similar price range. This one was like, I think, $2.15. And the, um, the uh, Spyderco Spidey Chef, uh, the Marcin Suisse design, kind of have that reminiscent, the, the upsweep. Um, and then also the ability to, you know, basically fully rock against, oh, let's get something s straight here. Uh, you know, you can actually get the entire blade, so you could do it in so somewhat of a cutting fashion. This kind of reminded me of that. I think other people have made mention of that. Um, you know, so th that's kind of the blade that I really thought of, Spyderco. They don't do a lot of liner locks. This is a liner lock. We can go ahead and move that out. Um, but yeah, this is a liner lock. Uh... And it's a 3.75, 3.8 inch blade. So it's it's actually quite long. It's going to be illegal in some areas. Um, so, you know, know your state laws and so forth and your locality laws as those can change as well. Uh, this is, you know, we're just going to jump into a, a few impressions that I have on this knife. Is I will say it's just out of the box, a little bit gritty on the return. This is a Seiki City Japan produced one. So it, it's over here. <laughs> Sorry. The, yeah, so this is not going to have quite the production quality that some of the Taichung Taiwans do, like the Spidey Chef, um, and it and it actually does show. You lose just a just a little bit of that refinement where things aren't great. The chamfering is done well, but you can see, you know, there's some still rough up here where it's kind of been a little bit uh, less. Uh, kind of use a, a finer grit, so they just did a rougher grit, and it's, so it doesn't have a beautiful look. You know, this is, a, you know, of course, Spyderco's limited runs, and this is the Blade HQ Special Edition. So it's got the Jade Green 10, or the, the Green Jade G, G10, blah, blah, blah. Can't get my uh, head sorted back on after that little interruption there. But um, it's a very thin knife. Um, comparing it to the Spidey Chef, they're about, just about the same thickness maybe with the g10 um it's just a little bit thicker than the spidey chef the blade stock i measured at 0.11 is the exact same as the spidey chef again this is m4 steel so this is not an optimal steel for using in the kitchen you use a lot of use a lot of um, acidic things like tomatoes and so forth and it's going to probably go ahead and patina if not you know rust that blade so you're definitely gonna have to take care of it it did come out come with a generous amount of oil you may be able to see that in there um, you know, it, in terms of fidgety, just Spyderco, fidget's okay. Like I said, a little bit rough. It's pretty tough to get that ac access to the backside to Spidey flick that from the backside. Also similar to the um, Spidey Chef where you have that limited access. You have to almost give it a little bit of English. For the lefties though, actually, the, the, the Spidey flick works really well. Um, but then of course the standard is really tough to get your thumb in there. You're definitely going to probably want to slow roll that, not a fast roll. Um, so, you know, for left-handed, you can carry it a uh, tip down position and a right-handed tip up, but there is no of the flip-flop of those. It has a standard, uh, you know, lanyard hole here. And I don't know, I don't know the, the, some of the background of this. I just want to get some first impressions. I know these knives were a limited sprint run, but these are going to start showing up on the secondary market. So, you know, this will give you some information. Um, and I will do a full review when I have a chance to work with it. I will say just, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and pull out my old, uh, simulated flesh and, and just cutting off cork. It, it definitely is going to be a good little slicer there. So it, it, it it's, you know, like I said, just a lot like the uh, Spidey Chef, this thing cuts pretty nicely. Um, uh, fidgety, like I said, not the greatest, but thin, useful. One thing I would say design-wise that I really like, and of course we can't go back and relitigate the design, um, this is done by uh, uh, so long, long ago, is it just the blade fits in perfectly and you, and you see the lines of that. So the lines of this knife are really good. 
again kind of very reminiscent of this with just a, a little bit of bump there but uh you know so I, i'd say overall is this you know should you spend your money on the aftermarket for these are going to be popping up i wouldn't rush to judgment i'll definitely be posting a full review after i get a chance to spend some time with it cut a few more things pocket it see how it goes i think it's going to pocket pretty well just because it is very thin um and this one oh yeah this one's not perfectly centered it's just ever so slightly towards the um uh, towards the clip side on this one so i don't know just uh, some first looks at the rock lobster and uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested. And I will be posting up probably in the next I don't know, month or month or two a full review of this for you know a little bit more in depth. And when I have a chance to, like I said, handle this, this is just a first initial. It, and it is comfortable. I would say the one the one thing I'd say maybe on the negative side so far is this this massive choil, if you call it here, it was designed as a two finger from what I read. But I will say, even with medium large hands, it's it's almost caught in between a three finger. I can't quite fit three in there, um, but I can fit like two and a, it's like a two and a half finger choil. So you almost have to make a decision to go back on it and just put in two, or try to cram in three fingers into that choil there. And then you're definitely locked in there. I will say that that's a great lock in. Um, you know, if you're if you're leaning heavily on that, um, there you know there's no. There's no real um, bend here for a pinch grip handle, you know, and not that this was supposed to be anything like that, but um, just thinking about that, like I said, is the, the, the blade design, I was like, oh, this might be really good for rock chopping, uh, not, but it's actually rock lobstering. So, all right, um, that's about all for now, and uh, I'll come back with a kind of more uh, cohesive review of this knife. Take care. Have a great day.